I was trying to think of what to do with these old books that I've been collecting. I have an entire closet full of them. So I thought, you know what? Let's create something fun and unique that we can add to our home decor. And these are items that I had in the shop that I'd used for previous projects. So I'm starting off by just putting a quick coat of chalk paint. This one happens to be a sage green color. And just painting the cover of the tops of the books. We're going to stack the three together. So there's no need to paint the underneath because we're going to actually adhere them together with some glue. So basically just the spines. I will open the cover, um, the part that you'll see, so that it will all be green even from the, the page side of the book. So just a really quick coat. Don't have to take your time. I seriously did this entire project in less than a half an hour. So it was super easy, super fun, um, not time consuming at all. So basically, then I thought, oh, well, you can see the inside. So I'm just going to paint like really quickly around that. So I decided the top one, I stacked them together. Now in hindsight, I uh, wish I would have done the adding of the legs at this point. I didn't. We'll show you how I added the legs at the end. But um, wasn't that bad. So I took some uh, floral foam and I put it on the top book. Now I haven't attached these books. They're just sitting there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some succulents that I had. I use them for a variety of things. I ordered them all off of Amazon and I will post a link. Um, I ordered these and you can pull them apart. The great thing about these is if you get the ones that you can kind of like cut down, you can use these for five and six different projects. They don't have to all be used in like one big, you know, floral clump. So basically I'm taking some, um, some cutters and just cutting them apart and just using pieces of them, just like that one, just cut them apart. And I ordered these, like I said, through Amazon. I uh, will post the link in the comments along with, um, yeah, the links to pretty much all the products that I used on this one. So these are great, take them apart. So I just keep taking them apart and then using them. My glue gun is heating up. I have a cordless glue gun, which my battery was dead. <sighs> So I did attach some glue to the floral foam and I am just sticking it inside of that top cover of the book. I uh, put the smaller book on the top, of course. It doesn't matter what size your books are. Um, and then I'm just going to start making my arrangement. Basically, I'm going to keep going and just adding more florals into the foam using my hot glue gun and just making it to appear like it is coming out of the inside of the book. Isn't this brilliant? So the floral foam will help keep it in place with a little dab of glue. Um, it'll just it'll just be perfect. So basically just keep going. Cut the stems if they're too long. Just get out your little pair of dykes, cut them, and there you go. And then just stick them in and then stick a little dab of glue. Remember I haven't glued the top cover down yet so we can move it, we can open it. Um, I'm just kind of like dry fitting them before I put glue. Then I just add a little bit of glue to the end, stick it in the floral foam, and boom, it's going to be there. Now, of course, it's, it's fragile, but it's not just going to tear out. Now, if your kid gets a hold of it, of course, then what are you going to do? But just, I mean, this can, even done with, this can be done with florals, too. It doesn't have to be done with succulents. But I really like the clean and classy look that the succulents provide in this um, look. Now, to be honest, I haven't seen this done. It just, I was just sitting today painting a piece of furniture and it just dawned on me. I was like, I should make some of these. These would break amazing holiday gifts. You guys are stumped on what to give somebody that you love a present. Why don't you make them something? This will go with anybody's home decor. I am not kidding. These are absolutely stunning. And like I said, you could also just use flowers if you wanted to. You could do it to match everybody's house. Now those string of pearls, I just took them apart right off that big one. And now I have one coming down. I'm going to glue the books together now because they need to be glued together, right? So that they'll all stick together. They're going to be one um, little cute stack of books. Glued the second one down. Now I guess when you glue the books down, you probably could use like an E6000 so they definitely won't come apart. 
um, but no big deal. So we're just going to put a little bit of succulents. I'm not really sure why I glued that cover down because it didn't do nothing. The books will open. I'm thinking about maybe taking some glue and brushing it along the front, um, the pages part, so it just stays closed better. But it's going to sit on a shelf or your coffee table or something like that. So I don't think it's going to get touched a lot to worry about. Um, and so on this one, I just had an extra little piece that was poking backwards, and so I just clipped it off. And then I did, I put some glue on it, and I used it in the front. So cut your succulents apart. Get the ones that have the most little sprigs with them. To me, that's the best option. Just glue them in there. And next thing you know, you're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful um, arrangement. Uh, the spriggy stuff was too spriggy. I kind of need to stick with the succulent stuff. Like I said, I have a huge box of them. I've made wreaths. I've made, I had baskets that wouldn't sell in my store. Put succulents in them. Boom. Sold them all. So think about things outside of the box. How many of you have hardcover books laying around your house you don't know what to do with? Don't give them to the, don't throw them away. Do a, a craft with them. Make them new again and beautiful. Aren't they cute? This is like perfect. This would be so cute on a mantle. Actually, I need to make one and bring it home. This would be great sitting on your mantle um, for everyday use, right? I'm just gonna tuck that string of pearls in there. I'm going to, or whatever this is called. It's called uh, some donkey's tail, I think is another word for it. Just let them kind of creep down. Isn't that adorable? So you will be able to see the foam through the side. So what I've got is some of that sphagnum, sphagnum, how do you say it, moss. And the stuff that I have is really, really green. Like I said, I'll put the links to all of these products because I, I really went through Amazon and found the best stuff I could. And these, I've had this moss for over a year. It's been sitting in my back room and it's still as vibrant and green as the day I got it. So it's not like a live moss that's going to get all yucky and dried out but just a little bit of glue on there and just stick it in there be careful not to burn your fingers I use the twig <laughs> of the flower to poke it in because I don't want to burn my fingers um, and then wherever you can see the glue just add a little bit of the moss it covers everything it's so fast and easy I've only speeded up this recording times two this is a nine minute recording. I literally took me 20 minutes to do this, this whole entire thing. Add a little glue so that the book top stays down. And you could tie a ribbon around it or something. And I was sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, I have little feet. I forgot I had these little feet. I'm gonna barely start the hole. That way there's screw. Now you could attach these if you didn't have um, if the book was too hard or you didn't have a drill to start it, it's easy to start it. Like you could even take a little push pin and put it in there because the screws are tiny, tiny things. Um, you could put some E6000 underneath these and just glue them down instead of um, screwing them in. But I feel like screwing them into the bottoms of the books, the screws are like an eighth of an inch long, um, helps to just adhere them because it is it's a hard book. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That's all you guys. Different succulents, the little feet, the feet are the definite addition that they needed. I got those on Amazon too. I'm gonna post all my links in the comments. I do have an affiliate link with Amazon. So you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I don't only paint furniture, but I do upcycle of home decor and all things pretty. So please like, follow, subscribe. I also have a Facebook page where I do weekly live videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and go out and be fabulous.